Hi yogis, I'm going to do an arm and shoulder vinyasa flow. This will be about 40 minutes, 30-40 minutes. So well, let's get started and we'll start in child's pose. We'll start this way. So just come down onto your knees. Knees, take them out to the outer edges of the mat. Big toes touching. Just take the toes slightly apart here. Really try and weigh the hips heavily into the heels and then just walk the palms forward, slide the arms out and press the forehead into the mat here. So I want you to just inhale, take a nice big yogurt breath in and just take a wee pause at the top of the in breath and as you exhale just draw sit bones back towards heels Extend through the side body as you reach up with the arms. And again, take a nice big yogurt breath in. Fill up as much as you can and pause. And finding your ujjayi breath, that little constriction in the back of the throat. Make a little hissing sound as you exhale. Just releasing any tension in the body and the mind. Just finding a little bit of stillness. And on the next inhale, just gently just roll on up into a tabletop position. Make sure your knees and your hips align, your wrists are underneath your shoulders, and we're just going to warm up here. So I want you to just reach forward over the fingers, take the shoulders forward. And then just draw them back here. Again, forward. Press down through the fingers, round down through the knuckles. Keep the lower abdomen nice and strong. And just move in a clockwise rotation here around. And then anti clockwise. Just feeling the mobility of the shoulders. We'll be doing lots of work at our desks, so nice to do some upper body work. When you finish there warming up, come back to a neutral position here. And I want you to keep that strength from the navel, so really draw the navel into the spine, draw the lower ribs in. Grip down through the fingers here, pushing down, grounding down through the knuckles. And feeling a little bit of mobility before we come into our cat and cow. So we'll begin with articulating the spine. But just before we do that, I want you to elevate your shoulder blades up towards your ears. It's not something we normally do in yoga. And then I want you to depress the shoulder blades away. So elevation and the depression with the shoulder blades here. So again, as you inhale, Draw your shoulder blades or elevate them up towards your ears. Keep the navel in, keep drawing in the lower ribs. And as you exhale, depress the shoulder blades away. This time as you inhale, elevate the shoulders right up towards the ears. And then I want you to slowly start to retract the shoulder blades towards each other. So as you do that, you'll probably notice them drawing away anyway. And again, just slide them down towards your tailbones. And as you exhale, push through your fingers and protract the shoulder blades. So find that space, push through the fingers here, really drawing the energy up through the arms. We're kind of already starting your cat and cow here. We'll do that one more time. Inhale as you elevate the shoulder blades up. And as you Exhale, retract the shoulder blades towards each other as they slide away, then draw them down towards the tailbone. And as you exhale, push through your fingers, your base of the palms, protract the shoulder blades wide, drop the crown of the head down, and then come back to a neutral position here. We'll come and do three rounds of cat and cow, articulating the spine. So again, grip down through your fingers, Draw your sit bones together, lift the pelvic floor, feel that engagement in the lower abdomen. As you inhale, 
dropping the navel to the mat, take the gaze up, be careful of the back of the neck, you don't jam the back of the neck, and as you exhale, tuck the tailbone first, round through the spine, arch through the mid back, push your shoulders, dropping crown of the head down. We'll do three rounds like this, inhale, lifting sit bones, arching through the back, just taking the gaze slightly up, exhale, tucking tailbone first, rounding through the spine, and feeling that lovely opening between the shoulder blades. Again, inhale, keep gripping down through your fingers, and exhale. So we are articulating the spine, we're also massaging, stimulating the internal organs. Inhale, so if our spine is nice and warmed up, so uh, our arms and our legs. Yeah, but we'll just one more inhale and then coming back to a neutral tabletop position. Take your right hand to the middle here, so right underneath your face. And what we're going to do is open up here through, lift the left arm up here. So I want you to square your hips, draw your inner thighs, squeeze your inner thighs. This will really help you to square your hips and lift up the left arm. So I want you to really feel that expansion through the front of the left shoulder. This might be a little bit hard for you here. Keep lifting, keep inhaling. And as you exhale, thread the left forearm underneath here. So you're bending the right elbow and then just landing on your left ear. And then lift your right arm up, take it behind your back, tuck your fingers into the top of the left thigh. And take a nice couple of deep round cycles of breath here, drawing the right shoulder blade back. Just keep the knees above the hips. Keep twisting that right shoulder back. And as you inhale, lift the, extend the right arm up, take the right hand down and come back into the other side. We'll come and take the right hand to the middle Extend our left, oh, the other side, sorry, left hand to the middle, take the right arm up. If we're not aimed, we are asymmetrical, so you'll probably feel quite different on this side. The other side's a lot harder for me, this is a bit easier. And then as you exhale, thread that right arm underneath. So come onto the outside of your right shoulder, press down onto your right ear, lift up the left arm, and it's just take it back behind, threading the left fingers, top of right thigh. A couple of nice cycles of deep breathing here as you twist, drawing the left shoulder blade back. And as you inhale, lifting the left arm up, dropping the left palm down, coming back into your neutral position, tucking your toes under, lifting your hips high and arriving in your downward facing dog. I want you to grip down through fingers here, straighten the arms, press down through your thumb, your pinky finger, your index finger, feel the lines of the body here activating as you press down through that outer pinky finger. I want you to inhale, push through the arms, straighten the arms, lift the hips high, and draw the feet slightly closer together here. And as you exhale, start to draw the heels back, draw in the navel, and take a couple of nice rounds of breath as you soften the body. Inhale, and exhale. On your next inhale, take the right leg up into your three-legged dog, point the right toe, spreading the fingers, drawing shoulder blades away, and as you exhale, bend the left knee, take the right foot forward here, dropping the left knee down, tucking tailbone, and just pushing the hips forward as you raise your arms overhead, Anjaneyasana. And then place your palms to the front as if you're grabbing an imaginary bind. As you exhale, draw the elbows, so really puff the chest out, slide the shoulder blades together here. Just be careful here that you're sort of pushing the blades into the chest rather than squeezing them too closely together. And as you exhale, elbows and palms together. Keep the elbows lifted high. Again, inhale, open up. As you exhale, raise your arms back up. We'll do this one more time. Imagine you're gripping an imaginary bar. Exhale, draw the elbows down. Palms together, elbows together, keeping the elbows high. 
Inhale, open the chest, take the gaze slightly up here. And as you exhale, raise your arms overhead. One more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, drop the left hand down and then lift the left knee up. Gaze up at your right extended arm. Squeeze the inner thighs here, draw right shoulder blade back. Keep breathing, inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to roll onto the left side of the left foot. Come into your flip dog. So you're bending the right knee, you're high on your right toes. Gaze back at your right hand, open the chest. It really lift the heart up here, gripping down through the left fingers here. The isometric contraction, contraction in the shoulders. You're really activating the sets of muscles in the back body. Open up here. And as you exhale, take the gaze down, drop the right hand down, roll over your toes over to the right hand side. Vashistasana here, stacking left foot on top of right. So you're stacking your legs, your hips, your shoulders here, reaching, lifting the left hip up as high as you can, maybe lifting the top leg up. Keep breathing. Two. Three, drop that left leg, drop the left hand down, roll into your high plank, reaching for, coming through chaturanga, elbows in, coming halfway down, untuck your toes, open the chest here, straight arms, point the toes, take the gaze up. And as you exhale, tuck your toes under, come back into your high plank and then drop down to chaturanga. Beautiful, and then push back up to your high plank. And then exhale, back into your downward facing dog. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Point the left toe, spread the fingers. Exhale, low lunge here. Arjuna Asana, right knee down, tucking tailbone, pushing hips forward. Open the chest as you raise your arms overhead. And taking the palms forward, exhale, glide the shoulders down as you drop the elbows. Ooh, elbows together. Palms together, keeping the elbows high. Inhale, open the chest, take the gaze out, really puff the chest open. Exhale, raise your arms again, palms forward, exhale, or inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, in inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, drop the right fingers down, drop the right, lift the right knee, extend left arm up, squeeze the inner thighs, really stabilize them here as you draw left shoulder blade back. Inhale, lengthen the spine here as you squeeze the right quad. And then as you exhale, roll onto the right side of your right foot, flip your toe, bend the left knee, open the chest here as you really lift the heart up, looking at the back of your Left hand, keep breathing, gripping down through right fingers. Take a big inhale, open up here. And then as you exhale, gaze down, drop the left hand down, roll over the toes onto the left side. Vashistasana, stacking your hips, shoulders, your legs, raising the right arm up. You can take the gaze up or down. If you take the gaze down, you can lift that right leg up, keep breathing. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, dropping the right hand down, coming into your high plank, reaching forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Untuck your toes. Open the heart, shoulders back, really squeezing the glutes here as you point the toes. And rather than coming into your downward facing dog, we're going to tuck our toes under, come back into our high plank, drop down through chaturanga. Push back up here, gripping with your fingers. And then exhale. Downward facing dog. So we'll come for our flow. We'll just move a little bit more quickly now. So inhale, right leg back. Three legged dog, spread the fingers. Draw the shoulders right away from the ears. Exhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Pushing the hips forward. Raise your arms overhead. So rather than coming through those repetitions, I want you to take the palms forward and as you exhale, slide the shoulder blades away as you drop the elbows down, lifting the left knee, keeping the hips pointing forward, pushing forward here. 
Beautiful. Palms together, elbows together as you exhale. Inhale, open up here. Beautiful, raise your arms over here. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, exhale. Ooh, that lovely release through the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. This time we'll draw the arms alongside the hips here. So just stretch out the left leg, come high on the left toes. Just lean forward here as if you were in an arrow position, really plugging down through that right heel, engaging the inner right thigh here. Inhale, lengthen, open the chest, sparkle those fingers, and as you exhale, just kind of float into your warrior three. So you can flex the left foot or point the left foot. I want you to engage the inner right thigh. And I want you now to see if you can swim the arms here. So just taking the arms forward here alongside the ears. If this is a little bit tricky for you, just drop the fingertips down to the mat here. So if you have your arms alongside your ears, point the thumbs down and then take them back behind your back. Interlace your fingers, lengthen the arms here. So you're pushing out through the top of the arms here. Whew. Lifting. Well done. And then as you exhale, bend the right knee. Drop the fingertips down, drop the left toes down. Come here back into your lunge twist to open up here. Really feel that lovely stretch of the front of the right pectoral muscle. Roll onto the left side of the left foot and then flip your dog, bending the right knee, taking the foot behind, open the chest, gaze at the back here, grip down through your right fingers. Keep breathing, inhale. And then as you exhale, gaze down at right hand. Roll over the top of the toes, Vashisthasana. Lift the left arm up, keep stacking the legs, the hips, the shoulders. Keep lifting the left hips up. Maybe lifting the top leg up. Whew, well done. And then as you exhale, high plank, reach forward, Chaturanga. Untuck your toes, upward facing dog, gaze up. Exhale, tuck the toes under, come into your high plank. Lower down to Chaturanga. Push up to your high plank. Exhale, Adi Mukha. Left leg up, three-legged dog will come straight into it. Exhale, left foot through, drop the right knee down. Pushing the hips forward, really plugging down through that left heel. Engage it in the thigh, draw the navel in. And then as you inhale, slide the shoulders down, lifting the right knee up. And then as you exhale, elbow palms together, beautiful, inhale, open up, exhale, raise the arms, we'll do this one more time, inhale, really open the chest here, Whoo, exhale, palms, elbows together, inhale, open up, exhale, raise the arms, this time just draw the arms alongside the hips here, take this, just lean forward here, engage the right quad, lift the right kneecap, Engage the inner left thigh and the inner the right thigh. Open the chest, neck is long. Breathing here, inhale. And as you exhale, sort of just float into your warrior three here, pointing or flexing the right foot. Stabilizing here, I want you to squeeze the left quadricep here to really help you stabilize. If it's there, maybe take the arms alongside the ears. Ooh, and then take the thumbs down as you swim the arms back. We'll do that one more time. Just take the palms down, and draw them alongside your ears. And then as you exhale, thumbs down, take them behind your back, interlace your fingers, bend the left knee, lift the arms high, or draw the top of the hands up, point maybe the right toe, reach forward here. Two, three, Beautiful, drop the fingertips down, bend the left knee, drop the right toes back, spread the right hand, lift the left arm up, and then flip your dog, left foot behind, open the chest, really grip down to your right fingers here as you open the heart, gazing at the back of your left hand. And then as you exhale, roll over, Vashi to the left side, stacking the hip shoulders and the legs, raise your arm up. Keep breathing, maybe lifting the top leg up. And then as you exhale, right palm down, high plank, reach forward, chaturanga, untuck the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog, gaze up. 
and then as you exhale, tuck those toes under, come back into your high plank, lower down through chaturanga, push back up into your high plank, exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Maybe just take a little break here, bend the knees, jump forward into your malasana, and drop the tailbone down, triceps in front of the knees here, palms together, lengthen the spine, we'll take just slow the breath down a little bit here. Nice draw in your breath here. Big breath and then as you exhale, try to lengthen the spine, open the, the chest, squeezing the glutes here to try and open the legs out wide rather than pushing with the outside of your arms. Another couple of breaths. Just slowing the breath down, nice full cycles of breath. Beautiful, doing really well. Drop the palms down, we'll step back into our high plank. Now halfway down, chaturanga, untuck your toes, open the heart here into your back bend, keep squeezing those glutes, pointing the toes. Exhale, Adho Mukha. So we'll come through there, we'll do a little bit of an add-on here as we come through. Just draw the feet together. As you inhale, lift the right leg up, three-legged dog, point the right toes this time. Really feel the strength of the muscles in the back of your shoulders here. As you exhale, Anjaneyasana, lift knee down, right foot forward, raise your arms overhead, palms facing forward. Exhale, inhale, draw the elbows down. Keep pushing those hips forward, keep pushing the pubic bone forward, and feel the chest opening. Beautiful, exhale. Palms together, inhale, open up. Exhale, raise your arms overhead. Really feeling that strength, that engagement through the inner thighs. Draw the arms alongside the body. Engage both inner thighs, plug down through that right heel here, shoulders back, chest is open, gaze forward. And then as you exhale, float into your warrior three. Beautiful, keep reaching for, keep lifting the chest, keep lifting that left leg up, keep breathing. And then bending the right knee, dropping the left toes down and taking the hands underneath the shoulders. Just taking that right foot back a bit. We're just gonna do a little few handstand hops here. This is optional, of course. So I want you to be high on your left toes. Just, we'll just do three, maybe just do one. See how you go. So bend that right knee and just push off with your right toes as you lift the left leg up and take the right toes to the left knee. Up, a little bit higher, beautiful. Step back here, Ooh, just bring that right foot forward. We're gonna pop into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon here. So just lifting that left leg up, rolling left hip on top of right. You can spread right hands, open up here. So extend the left arm up, keep the gaze down and grip down through that right toe knuckle, draw left shoulder blade back, keep breathing, really engaging the right quad so you're stabilizing through the right leg. Inhale, lengthen, open up. And as you exhale, bend the right knee, drop the left foot back, come into your warrior two here. Okay, a couple of breaths here. Lunging deep into that right knee, stretching the fingers wide, shoulders over hips, gripping down through those arches here, and just drawing inner thighs out and up to really stabilize the body. I want you to inhale, keep lunging into that right knee, reverse your warrior. And as you exhale, we'll come into Uttita Pashvakanasana, right hand outside of right foot, left arm up and over. So really lifting the pelvic floor, spinning left ribs up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Two, three, inhale, reverse your warrior. And this time as you exhale, we're gonna take a bind here, dropping the outside of your right shoulder on the inside of your right knee. See if you can thread your right arm underneath, left arm behind your back. Meeting your hands here, breathing, spinning that left shoulder back. This is only optional, otherwise come into your extended side angle. Two, three, 
two, three, and releasing, beautiful. Popping back up into your warrior two. And we're gonna come into a revolving crescent lunge here. So we're gonna straighten that back foot, draw the right arm back, reach forward with the left. So we'll reverse our revolving crescent lunge, reaching up through the left side of the body, and then as you exhale, coming into a twist. So left elbow outside of right knee, palms together. Really engaging left inner thigh to try and stabilize. If you need to drop that left knee down, just to stabilize a little bit here, lifting left knee up. And you may be wondering why we are doing a twist here and we're working on our arms and shoulders. Remember, engaging the muscles in your back here to really try and draw the pelvis or the spine away from the pelvis. Beautiful, inhale. And as you exhale, take the gaze forward, come forward into, oh, we're gonna come into Utkatasana, our chair pose. Drop the hips down, raise the arms overhead. And then as you exhale, plant the palms down. We're gonna come into Pakasana Crow Pose here. If you haven't tried this before, there's always a start. Come high on your toes, bend the elbows, and just see if you can plug the knees into the tricep shelf, maybe taking the weight in, maybe taking one foot off, maybe taking both feet off. If you do manage to take both feet off, draw heels up to sit bones, and then we'll all meet back in a chaturanga. Untuck your toes. Open the heart, gaze up, exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, we'll take two nice full cycles of breath here. In through the nose. And as you side out, draw the heels down here, stretch out the arms, protract the shoulders here. So it's a really good opportunity to reset your shoulders and downward facing dog. Beautiful. Next inhale, take the left leg up into your three-legged dog, spread the fingers, point the left toes, and then as you exhale, left foot forward, dropping the right knee down, pushing those hips forward, raise your arms overhead, palms forward. As you inhale, lift the right knee, open the chest, and press those shoulder blades into the front of the chest here. Engage your inner thighs, keep the navel drawn in, Exhale, elbows together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, raise your arms. And then take your arms alongside the hips here. So engage that right quad, lift the right kneecap. Both thighs are engaged here. So really draw that left heel back towards the back of the mat. Open the chest, spike the fingers, draw in the lower abdomen. Be really strong, inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, float into your warrior three here. Lift up that right leg back, keep breathing. Two, three, maybe take the arms forward and back, beautiful. So take them down to the mat here. We're gonna bend that left knee, drop the right toes back. Once again, little handstand hops here, nice and optional. Take the left foot back, press or spread the fingers nice and wide. So I want you to just press your weight through the left toes and to come forward, tap the right knee with your left toes. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, exhale up and down. Beautiful. We're going to pop, and I say pop back into our out of Chandrasana, our half moon, lifting that right leg up, spreading the left fingertips as you extend the right arm up, open the chest, really feel like you're drawing the right shoulder blade back. Keep the gaze down. I like to flex my foot in this, this position here. Out of Chandrasana, keep breathing. Engaging that left quadriceps, you're really stabilizing through the left leg. And as you exhale, bend the left knee, drop the right foot back. Warrior two here, nice wide stance. Really 
lunging deeply into that left knee as you tuck the tailbone, lifting the chest, soft collarbone, stretching through the fingers, keep breathing, keep engaging the inner thighs here to stabilize this posture. And as you inhale, keep lunging into that left knee, lift your left arm up. And as you exhale, Utita Pashvakanasana, left hand outside the left foot, right arm up and over. Keep lifting, keep spinning right ribs up, engaging, plugging down through that right foot. Inhale, repeat your warrior. And this time as you exhale, we're gonna take a little bind, left shoulder inside of left knee, just thread the left arm underneath, right arm behind your back, interlace your fingers, and then engage, lift the pelvic floor as you spin the right rib cage up to the ceiling. Keep breathing. Ooh, really working up a sweat here. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, release your fingers. Come back into your warrior two here. Ooh, and then straighten that back foot. Take the right arm forward, take the left arm back. So you're in your revolving crescent lunge. And then take the gaze back at your left hand. Keep engaging in the right thigh. Reverse your twist, lifting right 